Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Builder Figure SP slash DR Spider-Man Doc Ock figure. Now this figure is brand new, I picked it up yesterday um, from Forbidden Planet in Croydon. They have just got the whole new wave in, they did have the whole wave in stock, there's a picture up on the screen of that now, um, but I was only interested in picking this one up, but um, on thinking about it I really wish I did pick up the cloak and dagger figure. But anyway, enough about that, let's talk about this Doc Ock figure. Now this is two per case in the Marvel Legends when they come out, so we get all the others and we get two of these per case. It doesn't come with a builder figure part, I'll mention that, so it is going to be a harder figure to pick up. I managed to score it for $19.99 which is really good um, for Forbidden Planet. And um, here is Spider-Man, Doc Ock at the front, obviously you can see the colourful, really nice figure of Doc Ock. Um, on the side there you can see nice artwork of Otto Octavius. On the back there is all the promotional shots there and all the other figures available in the wave. I bring them closer. You can get, see there and then you can build the um, SP slash DR builder figure which I'm not too familiar with that character. But there's some quite nice um, ones available in the wave there as you can see. But today we are reviewing Doc Ock. And on the side there some more artwork of Doc Ock. So, um, and then on the top as well, a nice Spider-Man emblem, I really like that. But um, yeah, this figure looks really bright and it's really cool looking in the box. So let's wait and see what he looks like out of packaging. So I'm going to open up Doc Ock now and we can see what he looks like. Now here's Otto Octavius out of the packaging and my, he is a lovely figure. I do love the colours on this figure. I know the character is this colour in the comics, but this just screams comic book to me. I really love the colours of this figure. I mean the yellow, we get nice yellow throughout his boots, around his neck, on his gloves. And that green is that sort of like a, a pastel-y sort of darker green. Really nice colour throughout this figure. Figure. And um, he looks really cool from the front. You get his nice glasses there, which if you poke up a tiny bit, if you can make that out, we bring it closer. If we pull those glasses up there, you can actually see his eyes underneath there, which is really, really cool. Really angry face. He does look quite angry. He has got his bowl haircut as well. His traditional Dr. Ock bowl haircut. He might be a scientist and all that, but he definitely does not know anything about hair. And um, on the back of this figure here, you can see the ports that come for the tentacles. Now, these are um, four nice ports there on these. Uh, on his back. His back, he does have great ab crunch actually as you can he has a great ab crunch as you can see it moves forward so much you can actually see into the figure which is really nice. I really like the fact that you can really get him into some really good poses. I don't recognise this body mould from any other figure. I think this is actually a new body mould for Doc Ock here which is really nice and really cool. I'm going to go over articulation right now before I put the tentacles in because otherwise it's not going to be possible. His head does not move up the farthest. That's, about, that's as much as it goes up. Like I said the glasses do bend up but they are glued on so if you don't want to break him you can cut them off but I'm going to keep my on. He looks down about that much. His arms, they rotate fully out that much. He has a double jointed elbow which bends in about that much. It's not the best double jointed elbow. He hinges at the wrist. He hinges at the wrist and he also has a joint there for bending this at the wrist. He has a upper waist swivel there. He can crunch about that far forward and he can crunch quite a way back as well. So that's quite nice. I, I do like that. He doesn't have any sort of waist swivel at all. He just has an upper, um, upper waist swivel there, which is good. Like I said, the ab crunch is fantastic on this figure. He kicks out about that far. He has double jointed knees which are quite handy and he has a he has and then he has calf rotation there at the boot and he does have ankle pivot which is fantastic. He is a great figure for articulation. Like I said, I don't recognise this body mould. I don't know what other characters they could use this body mould for. Maybe if we got a an I am Zola figure, um, a better version of that. Because I know we've got the builder figure from the first wave and they did it, but this could be a better body mould maybe for that figure. Or any sort of other characters, if you can think of anyone that would suit this body mould down to a T, drop it in the comments below. But I just can't think off the top of my head. But now I'm going to I'm going to show you the tentacles because they come in a pack like this. Now they're all over the place. I have had um, a good look. Some of them are not attached here like these ones, so I'm going to have to attach them. So I'm going to go and attach all these to Otto Octavius now and um, see what we think. And here's Otto Octavius all tentacled up. Now these were really easy to assemble and plug in. They are quite long, so I'm going to move them back so you can get a full range of his tentacles. And there you are. There, there he is. His tentacles are really really nice looking they're really nice metallic uh, paint on those looks nice really nice metallic looking paint on those unfortunately as we've all wanted and I have posted on some Facebook groups that I picked this up and the same question is it bendy wire no it's just sort of plastic but if you bend it as you can see what happens I'll give you a demonstration so I've bend it to go this way 
it just bends completely back to where it was so unfortunately not the um the ha the, the hook bits are on a ball joint which you have to you can pop on and off quite easily there so that's quite easy to do and then you get two longer um tentacles let me move that back two longer tentacles at the top here and the two shorter ones at the bottom but they are really nice and he does it does help him stand i find that he will stand i know as soon as i say that he's going to fall but <laughs> i do find that the tentacles do help him balance a little bit more there we go so he does balance and you can get him into some cool poses i mean he's a very very cool looking action figure i really like this and i think it's about time we got a nice doc Ock from the comics and i think hasbro have really nailed this figure and it's going to look great in displays that's just going to that's just going to shine on the shelf because the colours are popping and it's got all the arms and tentacles as well. I don't think it, um, it's just going to look great in a Sinister Six display. And um, I think it's a fantastic figure overall. I definitely recommend you going out to pick it up, guys. It's an amazing figure. The paint on it's fantastic. I picked one here with the best. There was two to choose from. Luckily enough, someone just got there after me. But there, I chose the one with the better paint apps, I, I think. Definitely, there's no chipping on any of this green. It's a nice throughout colour. And or no bleed on from the yellow to the green. So I've really got a nice looking Doc Ock um, figure here. And the tentacles are fantastic. And I just like the way it poses. You can even have him sitting back on his uh, tentacles. It doesn't look that great, but I really do like the way he, um, he looks. I love the two shorter tentacles that are coming round, sort of like the other two are out. You can get him into some poses. You can pose him around. I'm going to have a lot of fun posing this figure around later on. But uh, overall, this is a fantastic figure, guys, and I hope I've answered the questions you're after. The, the paint job's fantastic. The head sculpt's fantastic as well. I love the detail in the hair, the bowl cut. I love the comic look of the, the action figure. The tentacles are fantastic. They plug in easily. I think overall, it's just a great figure, and I would definitely put it in probably in the top 10 of my favourite Marvel Legends that I I've got so far so this is one of my favorite action figures of this year so far i really really like this so head out and pick it up guys if you can get over and pick that up and thanks for watching this review of the dr octavius and uh, make sure you like this video drop me a comment let me know what you think of this figure and if you're going to pick him up don't forget to follow me on twitter instagram and facebook links in the description below and most importantly guys please subscribe to this channel for more reviews to come and don't forget to hit that notification bell i really do appreciate it thank you guys bye bye